Hi y'all, this is Big Al, uh, your singing cook. Today I'm going to keep it kind of simple. Uh, I'm going to do more singing than usual. I think I'll sing all four songs in their entirety. Um, and if you don't want to listen uh, to me singing, just fast forward right to the recipe and I'll understand. But anyway, four nice songs. And uh, anyway, here you go. Here's one by Perry Como. <laughs> song number one okay if I can remember I, I hope I can I, I think I can uh, the first thing I made was meatballs and I did I did them two different ways or and there they are with gravy I don't know if you can see that or not maybe I'll move a little closer you know why not might as well show it off there uh, and those oh my god they are so good and oh I'd like to thank Lisa and Karen Kathy took uh, beans bean potato bacon celery carrot soup the other day to work and they just said it was wonderful and thank you for the compliment okay now here's a oh man it smells so good uh, here's meatloaf with just ketchup and look at the texture. Oh my god. It is so good. Okay. 
let me put these back here and I'm even going to put the lids back on show you how business minded I am okay here's what I did folks and like I said sorry I can't show you and put it in the pan but it, it, if the idea is I'm telling you what to do if you if you pay halfway attention uh, you're gonna have some good products so anyway I took out of the freezer I had a couple things of ha hamburger so I took them out and I let them thaw overnight and normally I use one of three things sausage from Al's Market or I use the Bob Evans Green Pack seasoned Italian sausage whatever that is that's real good but another good place to buy sausage is Dumas uh, that's out uh, in Mogador and I had a thing of sausage so anyway I let that thaw out two hamburgers one sausage and a, and a pan no I mean a big bowl so I put in about I'd say 14 of those yellow uh, fish crackers cheese crackers and I scrunched them up real good and I put them in then the oyster crackers the little uh, oysters and I do by the name the name brand I, I uh, I'm not and I'm not even sure what that is right now but when you go to the market you can buy the cheaper brand and I would say buy the good ones but I chopped scrunched up about 15 of those well, anyway, I had some bread from Ideal Bakery in Lakemore, behind Lakemore Plaza. You have to go down Springfield Lake Drive. Uh, I had some ciabatta bread, which is sort of like Italian, a little more crusty. Great, great tasting bread. Well, I, I took scissors. I cleaned them up real good, and I cut cut the bread off. It took me, I'll bet it took 20 minutes just to cut up uh, uh, two, uh, two slices of bread. But I kept cutting and cutting and cutting, so I threw that in there. Um, I put in basil. I put in uh, oregano. And not a whole, you know, maybe a, a teaspoon, if that, uh, of each. Um, I put in, what are those things called? Uh, oh, diced onion. I put in about that much out of it out of a little jar diced onion then a package of that uh, Lipton oh yeah I'm not gonna open that uh, Lip, Lipton uh, onion mix the brown Lipton onion mix I put a package of that in there and you're gonna think I'm a, a little eccentric but I put in four eggs okay let's see what uh, I'm trying to think oh I put in paprika I put in some uh, sweet paprika and just a touch of hot paprika not very much because that stuff goes a long way so anyway I'm trying to think make sure I didn't forget anything I don't think I did but I worked on that and I kept flipping it over over and over and over squeeze 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 over and over I mean I mean I I, I mean, I worked on it for a long time. I wanted to make sure, and even, you know, every now and then you fill a fish in there, cracker, you just scrunch them. So, anyway, over and over and over and over. Then I put just a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of uh, extra virgin oil. So, I said, and meanwhile, the oven's on 350. So, I took those meatballs and I rolled them into to balls about like this. As you can see, I ended up cutting them in half when I when I placed them in the uh, containers. But anyway, 350, I cooked them for about an hour and 20 minutes, believe it or not. And they were good and brown. So I took them out, I took the grease, drained it with bread, put it on a plate, threw that out to the birds, the bread with the grease. They, uh, they like that for some reason. And uh, so uh, I put the meatballs... I, I washed the, 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 the big, uh, what do you call it, glass thing they were in. And I put them all, and I washed that, dried it, put them all back in there. Then I squirted ketchup on all of them. I put that in for another 20 minutes, and uh, I took it out. And like I say, uh, I cut them in half, put them in here. And then the other ones, the packet gravy, 
beef gravy, uh, um, not brown gravy, but beef gravy. Uh, it's got a real great flavor. I, I, I used a couple things of that, and I just poured the gravy uh, uh, on the meatballs. So anyway, and I'm telling you what, uh, wait till you taste it. Wait till you taste it. Find a warm place, spend the night. Every rain falling, seems I hear your voice call. It's alright. Rainy night in Georgia. Such a rainy night in Georgia Where now Feel like it's raining all over this man's world Where Feel like it's raining all over the world Neon signs flashing Taxi cabs and buses passing through the night Distant moaning of the train Seem to play a sad refrain To the night Rainy night in Georgia It's raining all over the world. Well, feel like it's raining all over this man's world. How many times I've wandered, still comes out the same. No matter how you look at it, oh, think of it. Oh, it's life. You just got to play the game. Rainy, 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 rainy
it? Well, raining all over this man's world. I'm talking about a rainy night. I'm talking about a rainy night. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, my next dish. I'll put these back up. Um, I decided to make green beans. Well, should I let you see them? Yeah, I'll let you see them. Because you'll wonder. Okay, all that, those little brown things in there, that's bacon but I'll tell you about that in a second and I mean I'm telling you what the flavor is just I could have put some brown sugar in it but I didn't I didn't really think it needed it I didn't want to go that route that's not the taste I was looking for and there's always things you can do but anyway the green beans what I did was uh, I, I mentioned on some of my other videos I went to Costco's and loved the place and they give you free samples of food and they had turkey bacon and my thoughts were you know what I don't like turkey bacon I like pork bacon I really don't want any turkey bacon I'm not gonna like it I'm gonna spit it out I'm gonna I just won't like it and I'll tell you what I tasted that turkey bacon and it was so good I bought uh, four uh, packages of it uh, and, and a matter of fact that's how they come but I'll tell you what it, it tastes more, you know, if you want bacon, just the bacon, bacon, you know, go with pork. But if you want an in-between ham and bacon taste, turkey bacon, man, I mean, uh, that, that does it. And uh, so anyway, what I did was I cooked the bacon at, at, at uh, you know, not, not very hot. Maybe if the stove goes to 12, or the oven goes, or the, yeah, the stove goes to 12, uh, I had it on seven, eight, and uh, I cooked it oh, for half an hour, and so I, I took, I drained the grease, and I took the bacon out, and I put in four cans, and, and not frozen, not fresh, just four cans of green beans, and you think, how good can that be? Well, when you beef them up, it can be real good, so anyway, I put four cans of green beans in this big pan. And, and I put in one box of chicken, or uh, beef stock, I'm sorry, beef stock, and two chicken bouillons. I put that in there too. And I also, I added it a cup at a time. I didn't want it too salty. I didn't want it too strong. And, and I also put in a package of that Lipton onion mix again for flavor. And I, but I've added four cups of water and, and of course uh, pepper, a little bit of pepper. And um, so anyway, chicken broth, bacon. Um, okay, that sounds good. Okay, um, and anyway, uh, with, with the, uh, the bacon, the green beans, the chicken broth, and oh, I put in just a touch and whether it made a difference, I don't know, a, a touch of uh, uh, mustard mustard powder. And, you know, uh, whether that altered anything, I'm not really sure. But, but I cooked it for a good uh, two and a half, three hours. And I'll tell you what, that, that's, that's what made them that home taste. And, and that turkey bacon, bacon works really good, really good for that. So anyway... Um, Here we go. Hey, thanks for watching. You are so beautiful.
so beautiful to me can't you see Thanks again. This is episode number Big Al Singing Cook 17. Believe me, I'm telling you. When I said I needed you, you said you would always stay. It wasn't me who changed but you. And now you've gone away Don't you see that now you've gone And I'm left here on my own That I have to follow you And beg you to come home Say you love me, just be close at hand. You don't have to stay forever, I will understand. Believe me, believe me, I can't help but love you. But believe me, I'll never tie you down. Left alone, just a memory. Life seems dead and so unreal All that's left is loneliness There's nothing left to feel You don't have to say you love me Just be close at hand You don't have to stay forever 
I will understand. Believe me, believe me. You don't have to say you love me just because I can. You don't have to stay forever. I will understand. Believe me, believe me, believe. Hey, thanks once again for listening. Hope you try the recipes. Hope you enjoy them. Big Al, the singing cook, y'all. There's a couple old concert posters. The Beatles and Elvis Presley. I better check those out, huh?